Hola muchachos. Um, so this is the explanation of your final project for Español 1, es el proyecto de narración. So this final project, which is a part of your 20% of the final grade, is an individual project and you will create a narrative about yourself. There are four separate parts to this project and you will have time to complete all four parts in class. The narrative should share information about you in a way so that we get to know you better. The goal is for you to speak all in Spanish and to be comprehended. So again, that goal is to speak all in Spanish and not be perfect, but so that we, uh, your classmates or audience, um, do understand what you are saying. So the first part is you're going to write your narration in Spanish in complete sentences. Then the second part is you'll create a PowerPoint. Um, you'll have at least 11 photos on that PowerPoint that represent what you write in your narrative. The first photo is a current picture of you. You will put the pictures in a PowerPoint with no words in the PowerPoint. And when we're saying that those 11 photos need to represent what you write about, what that means is if you're telling us that you like to eat pizza, then the picture that's on the PowerPoint is a picture of pizza and not a picture of basketball. So you have to make sure that the pictures you have match what you wrote in Espanol. Next, you'll create a screencast o -matic that is at least 1 minute and 30 seconds long. You will record your narration and pictures using screencast o -matic. So on your screen, it will be very similar to what you see now. Instead of a Microsoft Word document, you'll see your PowerPoint. What you wrote in Spanish, you will say into a microphone just like I am doing now. Then you will listen to six of your classmates' narrations and complete the questionnaire for each classmate. And again, all four of these parts you will be completing in class. So las necesidades o la tecnología, you actually need OneNote instead of Wiki Learn. Um, you need your pictures organized on a PowerPoint that match your narrative, your YouTube account, and Screencast-O-Matic, which you already have on your computers. So let's talk about how you're graded. So your narrative is going to be graded based on grammar and spelling. Um, I will have time to review your narrative and to give you feedback, and you will also do a peer editing process to make sure all your spelling and grammar is correct. So when we're looking at the grammar, we're specifically looking at the correct article, like el, la, los, las, un, una, unos, and unas. So what that means is you have el libro, not la libro. Looking at the correct use of gustar, meaning gusta versus gustan, and the correct use of me llamo, te llamas, and se llama, to tell us who's the names of different people in your narrative. Then spelling for the vocabulario, that's the big focus. You have that vocab, you have your emotions, you have how to spell your classes, all of those things. The vocab needs to be spelled right. Then you'll be graded on the screencast, which is the video you create, and then you'll be graded on your comprehension of your classmates narratives. Okay, so that's a separate part. So the requirements. You need to have a script and you will read from your script when you record. You need to have at least 11 pictures or images. The first picture of your PowerPoint is a current photo of you. Your video will last 1 minute and 30 seconds. You will upload your video to YouTube, to your YouTube account. Make sure the video is either public or unlisted. If it is private, no one else can see it. So you need to make sure it's public or unlisted or it will not get graded. You will then put that link so the link from YouTube will be uploaded into OneNote. It will be uploaded into two locations in your collaboration space under narrative links. So I can show you this quick and I'll show you again. So under collaboration space, narrative links, you just add a page. Okay? And then it will also be in your submit here with your final draft. So the final draft of your narrative script and the final link for your project will be uploaded in the same location in OneNote. And that's under submit here and you'll see final. Okay, um, so some things to think about specifically with your screencast. Make sure that the timing of your photos match your narration. So again, if you're talking about, you say, me gusta la pizza, then I, we want to see a picture of pizza. It has to match. Your photos should facil facilitate your classmates' understanding of your message. So if you want to talk about something, let's say you like, you want to talk about, you like your, you like band, and you like playing the trumpet, okay? Well, that's a vocab word we haven't used. Now you can go on, you will go on to word reference and look up the word trumpet and then you put a picture of a trumpet. And if you say me gusta la trompeta, 
and everyone's going to so say, oh, they're saying that they like the trumpet. Make sure you speak slowly and clearly so that you can be understood. That's especially important for the native speakers. Do not click and speak at the same time. It just is very distracting. And the biggest recommendation that I can give you is to practice before you making your final screencast. So make sure you practice, practice, and there will be time in class for you to practice and peer out of each other's projects. So what are you going to be talking about with yourself? <clears throat> well, here are some possible questions for you to answer on your narrative. The goal of this narrative is for you to pick the very few questions and give us detail to really talk about your interest and what you like. So you will not be answering every single question that is available here. You will pick a few of them, probably around five or six, and then you will answer them in detail. So you want to share with us who you are and some interesting, appropriate facts about yourself. The questions that are in bold are required for you to answer. So for example, como te llamas? You have to tell us your name. Cuantos años tienes? Tell us your age. De donde eres? Where you're from. Cuando es tu cumpleaños? Your birthday. Cuáles son dos clases que te gustan? Just dos. Okay, so two classes you like. With those two classes, you have to tell us a qué hora es la clase, cómo se llama tu profesor o profesora, y cómo estás en la clase, using different emotions for each class. So two classes that you like, what time you have that class, what's your teacher's name, and how do you feel in that class. If you wanted to continue to add information, you could talk about what you need in that class, um, if you have friends in that class, but you don't have to do that. The last required question is, ¿qué te gusta? Or, ¿qué te gusta hacer? So, what do you like or what do you like to do? And some examples of that are, ¿qué te gusta hacer en la casa? Like, a lot of students like to play video games. You can talk about your favorite video games. ¿Qué te gusta hacer con los amigos? A lot of friends with their, a lot of students with their friends like to go to the movies or the mall. ¿Cantas? Do you sing? ¿Bailas? Do you dance? ¿Cuál deporte te gusta? ¿Cuál comida te gusta? So, what about sports or foods? So really anything you really like or enjoy, you can talk about your favorite music or artists or movies. So whatever really interests you. Um, we can expand on that, like Juegas Deportes. ¿Cuál es tu película favorita? Dealing with movies. What about de horror or románticas, comedia, acción? Where did you like to figure those out? Um, you can talk about ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo o amiga? Your best friend. ¿Tienes una o unas mascotas? Um, ¿Tocas un instrumento? Tienes un novio, o cuál es tu color favorito? These are all some things that you can talk about. Again, you are not answering all of those questions. Okay, you are picking around five or six. So you have to think you're already including these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to probably pick about four more questions that you would like to answer. So then the last thing you'll do, which will be again in class, is you will listen to your classmates and you will answer the following questions about six classmates you do not know well. So you're going to look at what do you and that classmate have in common? What is one thing that surprised you about that classmate? How are you and your classmate different? What does your this person or classmate do for fun? What's important to that classmate? And then you will describe them in three words. This listening component is all done in English um, because then I'm really truly, I will truly know if you understood what your classmates shared with you. So that's a brief overview of the project. So let's take a look at the rubric. So your rubric, this is going to be worth 40 points. Um, so the first part is just that you had 11 pictures that enhanced the comprehension of speech. So again, pictures that helped us understood what you were saying in Spanish. This next part is specifically with time meaning that you effectively use Spanish for a minute and 30 seconds to describe yourself in detail. And detail is the key word there, that you gave us more than just, me gusta la pizza. Okay, you like pizza. What kind of pizza? What pizza is your favorite? What restaurant's your favorite? Do you eat pizza every week? Right? Do you like deep dish? Do you like thin crust? Do you like cheese in your crust? So instead of that basic information of, oh, I like pizza, well, what? give us more detail about that pizza. And it also includes if you answered all the required questions, and then lastly is if there were two confusions or less throughout the screencast. So two confusions or less mean that, not that you were perfect, but it means that you were understood. So if you say me gustan la pizza, technically that's incorrect, 
but I understood your message and it does not count against you. A confusion is you're saying something and the picture doesn't match and what you're saying in Spanish does not make sense and no one knows what you're saying. That's a confusion. Okay? Um, something really important for you to remember that if your video is hard to hear, has no sound, it will not be graded and you'll be required to redo the screencast on your own time. So make sure you check your video before you submit it that everything works fine. And then the last piece of paper I have for you today is an itinerary. So the day you are on day one, it is Monday, December 5th. So what you want to do today is you want to go over some of the possible questions and choose the questions you want to develop and expand upon. Then you will start answering those questions. If you have time, then you're going to look and brainstorm at what pictures you want, especially if you are not going to, if, if you are not going to obtain them from social media, meaning that they're hard copy pictures and you have to scan them in. All right, so for today, day one, you are going to be looking at the questions that you would like to answer. So that is your overview of the project and your goal for today. So pick some of those questions in the packet and start answering them in a Word document and save that Word document to OneDrive. All right, any questions, send me an email. Adios.